welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a bow haul from Doggy Bow Ties. But before we get started with the bow haul, I wanted to just tell you a few little things about Stasi and kind of do like a little check in with her. So Stasi is now 17 months old and she is doing fabulous. She is still a sweet, sweet puppy and she is just like a joy. She really is. She is so good and and so chilled out as you can see she just loves to chill <laughs> don't you Stasi? you love to chill out huh yes she does so she has an awesome temperament and I definitely am very very lucky to have her because she is just the best little dog ever she is so good so she like I said she's 17 months old now she has not gotten any haircuts except for like little minor little trims. Her hair is all the way down to the floor now. So it actually like, you know, was doing like this to the floor. So we had to get it trimmed a little bit from the bottom. So I have trimmed her skirt a little bit and I take her to her groomer, Miss Lynn, to do that because I know that she can do a more precise job than what I do for sure or can do. And then she just trims up her little paws a little bit, but none of this hair on her face has been trimmed and I don't plan on trimming it. Her eyes, all of that area has never been trimmed. And you know, I love seeing her in long coat, even though it is a lot of work. I just love her in long coat. So, I know a lot of you have been asking, asking for a updated morning routine with her, and guys, I really don't do anything different at all. I'm doing the same thing, I'm using the same products. The only product that I have been using differently is this drying powder. So one of my show breeder friends told me about this powder a long time ago, probably even before I got Stasi, and this is the one that she uses, and I actually had bought a bottle of it, but then I found the Paw Marks one that I have been using, which is this one, although right now it has the page one inside here, so it doesn't have the Paw Marks brand, but I like this little container. Oh, okay, wow. That makes a nice pillow, doesn't it? <laughs> She's so funny. So um, actually, I put the, paw, the page one drying powder in here because I really liked using it. And I really can't tell you whether I liked it better than the paw marks. I've just started using it about a month ago, I believe. And so far, I really, I really like it. So... I don't know if it's just because she hasn't been tearing quite as much or if it's actually keeping her face drier. I really can't tell you. Um, but I do know that she's doing pretty well. So I'll probably keep buying this for a while. And sometimes I think it's good to kind of mix up your products a little bit. And so, you know, that way, I don't know. I don't know if there's any science between that. But I just wanted to tell you that basically I'm doing the same thing except for I am using this page one eye powder instead of the paw marks eye drying powder at the moment. It does the same thing. It's basically the same consistency, um, but I've been really liking this. I just don't like the bottle that it comes in at all. So I just shake it out into this, whoa, this jar because it has a nice wide top and I can stick my brush in it. So I really like that. So that's the only thing I've been doing different. I've still been using the Clarity No Rinse uh, stain remover to clean her face. And I have been using the Chris Christensen Peace and Kindness Colloidal Silver inside of her eyes. Yes, I love you. <laughs> She's like looking at me like, oh, are you going to talk to me? Um, so I do use that inside of her eyes. And I'm not really sure if maybe that's why she's not quite tearing as much. But I do know that now that she is 17 months old, you know, that first year, they do tend to tear a whole lot more than they do when they get older. So my advice to you is if you have puppies, and I know a lot of you guys have written me and said, my puppy is tearing, it's tearing. Well, that is totally normal in the Shizu breed. And your puppy may tear a whole lot until 
you know, you may have to put up with it for a long time until they're at least a year old. You may, you know, I'm just starting to see a little bit improvement in Stasi's eyes and she's 17 months old. So it is very common for puppies to teethe while they're teething or tear while they are teething. And it's just something that you have to keep diligent with, keep up with those daily face washings and putting drying powder on and try and keep that face as dry as possible. All right, so let's get into the bow haul. So I ordered these bows quite some time ago from Doggy Bow Ties when she opened up her shop back for orders and we just got our shipment in. So I wanted to share with you guys. Now she is closed again at this moment at the time of this filming, which is October of 2019. 2016, but you might want to keep your eye on her website, which is doggybowties.com in case she opens it back up. And I'm not really sure when she will open it back up, but if you do see it open, I would go ahead and get an order in from Miss Lynn at Doggy Bow Ties because she will probably only be open a few months before she closes down again to get caught up on all of her orders. So yes, her bows are that good. <laughs> so let's see what we got. Stasi, you ready to see what we got? Huh? I don't even remember what we got because it's been quite a while ago. All right, let's see. Okay. All right, I'm gonna have to take these out of the packages. All right, so I've taken everything out of the little plastic packages so that I can show you. And it looks like I got pairs in just about everything. So the first thing that we have here is one of her little boutique bows. And this is, looks like a poinsettia, I guess, in the center. And it's red and white and green with a, looks like hot pink poinsettia in the center. So those are cute. Um, and let's see, so yeah, so this is, I was about to say, I don't think that this would be a piggy tail. It's too big for that. So this would be a top knot bow. So we got this one. And then we got a traditional red and green. So let me put it up here. So red and green poinsettias. And then the next bow that we have here is some little cupcakes. Now these are the tiny ties. These are my favorite bows from Miss Lynn at Doggy Bow Ties. And these are all pears. So this is precious. The little, oh no, it's not cupcakes. Did I say cupcakes? This is little ice cream cones. I'm trying to look through the viewfinder here and I can't really see. So I love these colors. This will be nice for summertime. So we got two of those. The next one we have here is just a like black leopard, I guess, but multicolored. So those are cute, very different. We really don't have anything with this much black in it. And I like the colorful colors on there. The next one we have here is Little Birdies. So pink and lime green and light pink. And all of these are pairs because I put piggy tails um, in quite a lot. I love Stassi and pigtails and you need two for that. So that is what these are. The next one we have here is like a rainbow chevron and the back ribbon is an orange with all of the pretty colors. So that's really pretty. That's gonna be pretty for summertime too. Okay, so the next one we have here is ladybugs. So we have green and red, little red ladybugs with the black. And I love how this ribbon with like, it looks like, like little stitching. I like that. That's cute. <laughs> Why are you panting? Why are you panting? Huh? We just got back from the groomer. I think she's still excited from being at Miss Lynn's. All right, the next one, these are in her pet line collection. 
And this is a light green gingham. And I love these. We have these in um, a few different colors. I know I have um, a couple of different colors and so I wanted some more. So these aren't tiny ties, but they're small like a tiny tie. So I did buy these in pairs as well to use as pigtails. So we have the green ones and I bought the blue with the little flower in the center with the little pink rosebud. And I bought the yellow. She looks really good in yellow. So I love pink, pink's our favorite color, but she looks really good in yellow. So this is precious. And then I got this one, which is a little bit different. It's the pink rosebud with the bigger pink flower. I thought these were so sweet, so cute. So we got two of those. And all of these are in the pet line section of her website. So this one is a lavender with the little lavender flower center. That one's really cute. Let's see, I already did the blue. And then we have the pink gingham, like the other, like the green one, like we had. So this one is the pink gingham with the little flower center. I thought I had, had ordered some Christmas bows, but I guess I did not. So hopefully, I think we have enough Christmas bows for this year though. One thing I do know is I don't have very many Halloween bows. So as soon as she opens up her shop again, I am gonna order up a bunch of Halloween bows for next year because we really didn't have as much as what I thought. I think, you know, I only, I like to put Halloween bows on her every day for the last couple of weeks of October. And I've had to, you know, either put other bows on her or let her wear the same bows a couple of days because we don't have that many Halloween, so we're gonna have to we have to work on that for next year. But this one is the red gingham, and this is really sweet. This one reminds me of Trails Inn at Disney World. You know, we love Disney World, and we love to stay at Fort Wilderness. And there's a little restaurant there, if you've never been, it's called Trails Inn. And the ladies there wear a uniform dress that is the uh, red gingham, and it's like, from their neck all the way down almost to the ground and so it's a lot of red gingham so I and we go there all the time we eat there every single morning and we're just always in that little restaurant when we stay there and so I think forever until the day I die I will always remember Trails Inn when I see red gingham because that is their signature like uniforms over there so this is gonna be her little Trails in bows. So cute. All right, so that is it. That's the little pile over there. So I am going to put them up in our little Muji containers. I know someone was asking uh, for me to do an updated bow storage video, but I already did that not too long ago, and I didn't get any new bows except for this shipment in. And so to make sure you go through the playlist and take a look for that video because it's in there. All right, so that is it. That concludes this video, guys. If you would like to follow us on Facebook and on Snapchat, you can find us by searching Stassi the Zoo. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And we will catch you on the next video. Bye, guys. Say bye, Cassie. <laughs> I think she's ready for a nap. She said it's been a long day, Mom. All right, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.